Hi everybody, TJ Mac Vintage Cards and Nostalgia here. And in today's video, I'm going to show off some recent pickups and how they fit within my collection. First, you have these three beautiful vintage football cards that are great examples of art and photography. Here we have the 1951 Bowman Jack Zilly. And this is a card that I've been looking to acquire for a long time. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Rams cards from this era. But this card in particular has always intrigued me. Here you have Zilly stretched out inches from the ground as he reaches for a football that you can see traveling towards him at the top of the card. Now look at the detail as the blades of grass are strewn into the air. You have the striking royal blue and yellow Rams uniforms of the day with the painted helmet to match. The Rams are the first team to have painted helmets. And then also you can see the updated team logo in the upper left corner that they released in 1951. Now Zilly, who played college ball at Notre Dame, was a two-way player who played defensive end and receiver. He was never a star, but he enjoyed a six-year career with the Rams and Eagles. Now this is a pack-fresh example with razor-sharp corners and beautiful, vibrant colors. Here is the back of the card. Next you have this 1968 Topps George Blanda. And here we have an interesting design with a horizontal layout. The featured player stood out in a bold color image in a three-dimensional sort of way. And then in this background you see a tinted action shot of player illustrations. Now the Raiders and Packers who played in the Super Bowl the season before were featured on this design and the remainder of the cards look like this. You can see here in this 1968 Dick Buckus. Now Blanda was quite the player. He had a very long career that started in 1949 and then he retired at the end of the 58 season and he came back in 1960 with the AFL's Houston Oilers, and then played all the way to 1975. So with the exception of one season, he played from 1949 to 1975. And Blanda could do a lot of things. He was mainly a quarterback, and that's what he was known for and how he became a Hall of Famer. But he also played linebacker, and he was a kicker and a punter. He was just a marvelous athlete of the day. And here's the back of the Blanda card. Next up we have the 1975 Topps Terry Metcalf and this is a beautiful example of 70s photography from my favorite football set of the decade. Now, I keep acquiring graded examples from this year and plan on showing a video of the cards I have and why I love this set. Now Terry Metcalf was a tremendous player back in the day. Um, he was father of the former Brown star Eric Metcalf and like his uh, son, he was a great all-around player. He played from 1973 to 1977 with the Cardinals before going to the Canadian Football League. And he held the single-season record in combined yards with 2,463, which he set in 1975. And it's been broken by other players, but they did it in a 16-game season, where he did it in a 14-game season. And he could run, he could pass, he could return kicks... And what's really cool about this card is you can see the large shoulder pads there and the thigh pads. And you just got a player diving behind him with the red skins. And then he's acting like a battering ram here as he's getting ready to ram into the Rams defender, Bill Melinchak. And it's just a great looking image. Um, Metcalf was not really a power runner. He was a speedy guy, no more for finesse. But as this card shows, he wasn't afraid to run through you. There's the back of the card. Now, as you can see, the design of the 1968 George Blanda fits right in with these two other beautiful cards that also have tinted action shot backgrounds. Now, I picked up last month this 1961 Tops of Hall of Famer Andy Bathgate, and it shows an image of the gracefully skating Ranger star in front of a photo of an actual game between the Bruins and what looks like the Red Wings. 
Now, Bathgate is someone who I've been targeting to add more cards of to my collection. The right winger with the rocket shot was selected as one of the NHL's greatest 100 players. And this is an absolutely stunning example of this card and will look great displayed in my card room. Here's a closer look at the Bathgate. Here's the back of the card. Just a stunning example. Now next to Bathgate, you have a beautiful example of a 1968 Topps Pierre Palat. And he was probably the best defenseman in hockey between the legendary players Doug Harvey and Bobby Orr, who are arguably the two greatest defensemen of all time. Now, Pierre won the Norris Trophy as the league's best defenseman three years in a row, from 1963 to 1965. And last year I profiled him in one of my videos, and his great-nephew actually left me a comment on my video complimenting the 1958 Topps Pierre Palat card that I showed. And this 1968 is his last year as a player. There's the beautiful salmon color back on these cards that I love. And you can see there his uh, three straight Norris trophies as the NHL's best defenseman. Now, lastly, I have a 1954 newsstand copy from my father-in-law's collection of Sport Magazine featuring Eddie Matthews autographing a baseball. Of course, Eddie is one of the greatest third basemen to ever play, and in my view is a hobby bargain. I had his 1955 tops in my collection for a while, and decided to add this 1955 Bowman. Now the magazine and these two cards really capture the style of the 1950s. You have here in these two cards the contrasting styles of the 55 tops and Bowman cards. The tops cards exhibit beautiful colors with the pastel green and the bright yellow. And you have the vintage logo to go along with the portrait and fielding shot of the spectacular third baseman. Then you have the Bowman card, which is certainly more understated as far as colors go, but is bold in that it depicts the emerging technology of color television. These two cards just look great together. Then you add the magazine in, and you have this bold, rich color with yellow lettering. And you just have a wonderful photo here of a clean-cut Matthews sporting a crooked smile. Just love what this scene here portrays of the great third baseman. So there you have it. Some of my recent pickups. I hope you enjoyed this look into my collection. Have a great weekend.